Hi everyone and welcome to Vlogtober Day 14 and another episode of Twisted Thursday. Given this is the month that is very spiritual, and maybe I'll discuss that more on October 31st, or better yet, when my channel hits 10,000 subs, I'll touch on that subject. Anyway, today I wanted to discuss the law of attraction versus prayer. Is there a difference? So starting out, I came up with these questions. There's about five of them. The first one is, what is law of attraction? The next one is, what is prayer? Is one more important than the other? Does it have to be one or the other? And do they work hand in hand? I think these are pretty good questions, but let's get into the discussion. So first question, what is the law of attraction? You may have heard the term, may not really have looked into it, but I'm going to give you what the definition that I've found is. And it says the law of attraction is a philosophy suggesting that positive thoughts bring positive results into a person's life, while negative thoughts thoughts bring negative outcomes. My definition of that is you're speaking life into existence. So we hear a lot about we must be careful of the words we speak or think. As a definition I read, positive for positive or negative for negative. You may have also have heard as above, so below, so mote it be. What you put your energy into, your thoughts into, yes, you will receive it. Do you complete a vision board just after the new year or prior to it that sets out the vision you have for your life and it's a living, breathing board so to speak a vision board that you basically plot out what you want to see in your life if you have done one you will know the power of positive affirmations that you see on a daily basis and actually seeing them come into your life so some people have daily affirmations all over their home and that's a wonderful thing because as you see and you think so shall you be right law of attraction is just that you are saying i am wealthy i am strong i am powerful i am I am. You see it and it is your life. So we always hear, and me being raised a Christian, without a vision we perish. You have to have a vision for your life. Law of attraction is basically that vision and that you meditate on on a daily basis. Again, speaking life into existence. And I hope that makes a little sense. So what are your thoughts on law of attraction? Are you familiar with it? Have you heard of it? Do you not even believe it? Leave your comments. Love to read through them. Especially if you're watching this on replay. Now the second question I ask is what is prayer? So you find that Prayer, of course, coming from a Christian background, raised as a Christian as a child, as I've said. But Christians aren't the only faith religion that prays. But it really is believers who talk to God. The God that you were raised to believe in. And how 
through prayer is your praise and you make requests. For me, prayer is an individual's personal conversation with God slash universe. Again, this is my definition. So your definition may be slightly different because each person's connection to God slash the universe is vastly different than to mine. So tell me, how do you feel about prayer? Do you believe in prayer? You may not believe in prayer. That's okay. I do ask that everyone be respectful. But let me know your thoughts, especially if you're watching this on replay. Leave a comment. The third question I asked, is there... Is one more important than the other? So is law of attraction more important than prayer or prayer more important than law of attraction? So for me, my answer is that this will be very subjective and personal, very similar to the answer previous. For me, it's very important to focus on positive thoughts, positive energy as that is what I want to attract into my life. But I will say that it can all be wrapped in a package of prayer. My petition or my thoughts and my energy of envisioning, say, a new home and how that home will look, how many rooms it will have, that we will be able to financially maintain that home. That's wrapped in that package, what I call prayer, but it goes out into the universe and the universe then returns unto me. So I don't really think one is more important than the other, but again, it is all in how you perceive or believe. So let me know your thoughts in the comments. Is one more important than the other? The fourth question I asked, does it have to be one or the other? So I guess I could have answered that with the third question, but again, it'll be very subjective to where you are or where I am spiritually and how we believe. To those who believe on the Bible or in the Bible or whatever book of faith you stand on, it may be a lot different than what my answer is that it doesn't really have to be one or the other. As I said, you can believe in the law of attraction as it is your prayer out to the universe. Again, it's the intention of the word spoken and thought that are much more important than the package it's in, so to speak and to whom those words are spoken to. What are your thoughts? Does it have to be one or the other? So the fifth question, do they work hand in hand? For me, yes, they do. I truly believe again that it all depends on one's personal beliefs so some may not believe any of this that's okay some may believe that one is greater than the other that's okay I personally don't see how it wouldn't hurt for the law of attraction and prayer to work hand in hand again you're sending something out positive double triple, etc. The energy that's going out into the universe that you want in return. And when you receive it, it is mind-blowing. But it just shows you positivity. It is a good thing. It is good. And to be very, very careful of what you think on. So, what do you think? Does law of attraction and prayer work hand in hand? Let me know what you think. I do hope that this vlog 
the message in it makes some sense and that you enjoy it and that you really are interactive with me in it and just approach it with an open heart and mind not trying to convert anyone I'm just trying to have conversation um, this is a big world out there and as adults we should be able to have these type of conversations without too much too much angst so thanks for joining and thanks for conversating Thank you.